Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. John Coleman and I have Dr. Liz Lister with us, and she's always fascinating. She always brings us up to date on stuff or new stuff or whatever. So uh, thank you, Dr. Liz, for always being willing to share new information with us. Now, My Dr. Pleasure. Liz, we have talked in the past about supplements, and I think you know that I am a big proponent of supplements. I take almost anything I can find, you know, fish oil, vitamins, um, stuff like that. It, it seems to help. I, I really don't have any proof. And I recognize that uh, the stuff I'm taking, you know, there are a lot of brands out there. So mm -hmm. I don't know the difference between them. I, I, and I knew, do know that you have your own, I'll call it a brand. I might not be calling it correctly, your own brand of supplements that you work with a very special uh, manufacturer who can monitor the quality uh, and guarantee right. the quality of the supplements. So I haven't seen anywhere else a doctor recommended supplements, if, if you call it that. Um, but now you have an online store, so I could go right to your website and buy supplements that I could feel comfortable that I'm getting the, the, the real deal with instead of That's right. over the counter or Amazon or something like that. Tell yeah. me about your store. I'm, I'm fascinated by this. You can't be the only doctor selling these supplements uh, correct. by this particular manufacturer. That is correct. That's exactly right. I'm definitely not the only one. There are a number of very good brands out there that are doctor recommended. Of course, I think that phrase gets used a lot these days, doctor recommended. What I want people to hear particularly is the phrase pharmaceutical grade. Ah, Pharmaceutical okay. grade, meaning good. that it's made in the same high, high level of sterile production that you would expect any of your medications to be made in those same circumstances. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. so you really can't necessarily think that, like, say, Costco, who they make tires and they make clothes and they make they package all kinds of different foods. Yeah. All right, we're not going to rely on them uh, for that level of quality of supplements. So right. that's really, that's the important difference. So why should we care? Ah, so it's very, very important. So there are two, well, I'll say two to start with, and maybe I'll think of more, uh, two extremely important reasons. Number one is that a lot of brands that are out there that get into the supplement business, they, what you can find with pharmaceutical grade is that the milligrams that it says it has, that's what it contains. There have right. been studies that took some items of all the same type of vitamin off the shelf, say at Target, and this, I believe the study was done at Target, and these items contained anywhere from a little bit over, like 120% of the active ingredient, all the way down to 10%. Oh, my Lord. Yes, exactly. So you really don't know what you're getting uh, in these kinds of situations. So it's it's a bit of a false economy. Yeah. Right. So that's number one. And number two is with the quality and the correct dosing, <clears throat> you're, you, you're very often going to be able to take less quantity of that's supplements. Yeah. Okay. So for example, Costco, Walmart, uh, cheaper is not always better. Right. And the Costco fish oil is my one example where I really, really... You know, I understand if people are going to buy their supplements where they're going to buy them, but I, I, I have this conversation with people and with also with my patients. So, for example, the Kirkland fish oil, four capsules of the Kirkland fish oil are equivalent to one of the brand that I recommend through wow. the online store that I use. Wow, what a difference. Okay, so you feel like you're saving money because you're paying less, but you to get the same amount of milligrams of omega-3s, you're, number one, going through them faster, so you're actually not saving money, plus you're having to take four instead of only one. Right. Okay. Yeah, where's, where's the uh, cost efficiency in that? Yeah, and also, right. also, I think we discussed this uh, maybe a year and a half or two ago, uh, and I had stopped taking 
those kind of supplements because of uh, all of the contaminants that were in it. Uh, That's right. So uh, I, I know that that was one of the key reasons we even got into the conversation with you because we were concerned about uh, those contaminants and why the kinds of things that you uh, uh, associated yourself with were, I guess it's That's because right. they were pharmaceutical grade. So what can you tell That's us about, right. uh, uh, is that still a very uh, important thing as far as pharmaceutical grade goes? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really important. And I especially think it's important when it comes to fish oil. I think fish oil is a very helpful supplement to take. There's a lot of data to support that. We've done a video, I think, just talking about fish oil. But that's a really important example where the fish are caught, how they are caught, how they are processed. All of this matters to the quality of a fish oil. So we've talked about the fact that it shouldn't smell fishy. It shouldn't taste fishy. Right. Uh, there are ways to tell. Uh, yeah. when there are better brands. So that's kind of a, a, as far as the discount brands. Then there's the challenge of Amazon and online retailers. The challenges here can include, for example, people who are selling on Amazon might not be authorized to sell these products on Amazon. They might be unauthorized resellers. So even yeah. though they might be a good brand, they, for example, the brands that I most like to recommend are not supposed to be sold on Amazon. So people selling them on Amazon are unauthorized resellers. They might be altering the expiration date. Yeah. They might be counterfeit. They might be copying the label. Uh, sometimes products need refrigeration, which resellers might not be paying attention to. There's quite a few steps in the process of getting a supplement from a manufacturer into a person's hands and i want to make sure that all the steps are being done properly sure sure and even though uh, you know we're talking supplements we're not talking about drugs we're not talking about you know life um altering stuff but still you certainly don't want to put crap into your body you know the whole point of supplements right. is to supplement your nutrition right to get your body up to optimal speed and the last thing you want to do is putting stuff that's either not doing the job or could hurt you. Yes, exactly. That's exactly right. That's why I went recently, I made a change in my practice. I was using primarily one very high quality brand of supplements and I was keeping inventory at my office and that was really a challenge. Yeah. I okay, people could trust that I wasn't messing with the expiration dates and I never sold anybody anything expired, but things would sometimes expire and then I would have to discard them. Yeah. So anyhow, I finally got on board with an online supplement store. This is a doctor's online supplement platform. It's called Full Script. I'm sure Full there will be people listening to this video watching who are familiar, who have heard of it. Okay. It allows me to recommend everything I've ever recommended to a patient or mentioned on here with you all. Uh, I have, I am still able to recommend through Fullscript. However, I'm now able to recommend way more brands and a much, much bigger variety of items and supplements, treating a lot more different kinds of conditions, addressing different situations and symptoms. So I'm very excited about it. it. It allows people to benefit from a very low threshold for free shipping. There are discounts that I am able to apply for my patients. It has a lot of advantages that I'm very excited about. So it's, so far, it's just been going really great. We're very happy. Well, that's good. It, it makes it easier for you and easier much for- Much easier. Your patients right. So in other well. words, uh, I, I, I'm assuming, uh, I didn't particularly hear it, but that rather than you have to uh, stock this and, and look at expiration dates or anything else, you have it fulfilled by the manufacturer. So they're only, they, they can control that much more carefully than you can. And they only ship out uh, what's uh, fresh and uh, um, uh, current. Right, I never had a humongous inventory. So I was able mm -hmm. to make sure I was sending people good product. What I'm able to do now, though, is offer people much more uh, faster turnaround. 
full. I have yet to see anything that I've recommended to a patient that full script had on back order. <laughs> Whereas sometimes my patients had to wait for me to order something to get it to them. Therefore, uh, the full script platform, they are so fast because I get an email once the person I, I make a recommendation to my patient then I can see that they placed an order and an hour later, I'll see another email that the order has shipped out. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, listen, we don't need our doctors to be retailers. You know, right. I, I don't expect to go into a doctor's office and look at the case, the, the, the you know, the case. With right. the, I'll take one of those and one of these and wrap that up to go, you know. Yes. Unless, but, unless, unless, of course, for you. unless, of course, we want pharmaceutical grade tires. That's okay. <laughs> Last question for you, Dr. Liz. What about health food stores? Ah, uh, uh, yes. They're, they're labeled nutrition stores, you know. Sure. Well, can we trust them? I would really say for the most part, yes. However, what happens in a health food store, I don't know the last time you looked even at a place like Whole Foods, the couple of aisles, it's like this giant wall of different brands and different supplements. And I have been challenged even when I am specifically looking for a particular item all of a sudden I'm looking at which way is it supposed to be taken is it under the tongue is it are you supposed to swallow it what time of day a lot of times they don't have those instructions on there all right and so through full script I'm able to actually spell out exactly what I want my patient to do with the recommended supplement and so what happens what often happens for people in a health food store or in that section of whole foods is after spending all kinds of time, more time than you expect to have to be there, and you end up choosing close enough instead of what is right for you. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. And and it's it's a let's face it, it's nutritional supplements are a tough thing to decide for yourself. Some people are like art; they really don't need to take any of them. Some people are like well, me. We just pop on. I may, I may need to take them, and uh, we have enough examples of things I'm taking because Dr. Liz has uh, recommended them, such as the vitamin E uh, supplements and right. things like that. So uh, you know, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a good boy. <laughs> well, Dr. Liz, congratulations on your store, your association with. Uh, I wrote this down. Full script. Yes. Now we just go to your website, right? How do we get Absolutely. to Absolutely. Very easy. And you'll get directed right there. All it is just name and email. They don't need all the rest of the information to open a free account. And then you can look around and you can have access to these pharmaceutical grade supplements and people can write to me through it and ask me questions and I can make recommendations. Great. That's great. Good. I think this is a nice advancement in, uh, in medicine. Thank you so much. My pleasure. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.